Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Fossil Friday, I'm gonna be talking about all things Mary Anning. So for those of you who don't know Mary Anning, shame on you, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but you might know of Lyme Regis. Now, Mary Anning is one of the reasons Lyme Regis is so renowned today. So she was a key paleontologist of her time and still is a key paleontologist of today and she grew up in the late 18th century early 19th century and the reason I'm going to be talking about her today is mainly because there's a new film called Ammonite coming out which is all about Mary Anning's life and I'm so hopeful that this film is going to give you know some really positive light on who Mary Anning was and just why she's so important to the world of paleontology today and kind of how unrecognized she went for so many years or centuries I should say and you know better late than never but I mean she grew up in a time when women couldn't even go to university we couldn't vote I think we were seen as nothing more than child bearers you know so a lot has changed since then but obviously Mary was a scientist of her time you know she might not have been able to go to university but she made key pioneering like discoveries in the world of paleontology and got no recognition for it like even when she was starting to become well known in her time even as a woman, um, people would still not give her any credit for her work, it would be men um, taking credit for her discoveries and publishing papers, because as a woman she wasn't allowed to publish anything. As a woman she wasn't allowed to be part of the Geological Society of London. You know, it was a very different time back then and she kept persevering through it, you know, even after all of these kind of setbacks and just completely just a very unfair time really and I just I personally find her amazing like talk about a role model she, in a time when you know it wasn't the thing to do she ran her own business she educated herself you know to a level of you know way above what any university would have given her in that time so I just find her amazing and I really wanted to share you know just a bit about her life with you guys for those of you who have no idea who she was so she obviously grew up in Lyme Regis with her family and her brother would often come along the beach with her looking for discoveries but she didn't she didn't just fossil hunt she you know made sketches she prepped fossils in a time you know I don't want to know how she prepped these fossils like it must have been torture but she prepped full ichthyosaur skeletons like plesiosaurs she found the first um two nearly complete plesiosaurs I believe and she actually she made the notes about them she noticed the differences you know she made the key kind of scientific um discoveries and made notes on everything and it just went completely unnoticed you know geologists were very interested in her work but they didn't want to credit her at all because she was a female so it's a very kind of you know hit or miss um situation but I'm glad she's slowly starting to get the recognition she deserves and there's a wonderful organization called Mary Anning Rocks which I will link at the top of the description box below and it's a charity that's run by a young girl who just couldn't believe that Mary Anning didn't have the recognition she deserved and they really want to build a statue of Mary Anning in Lyme Regis to be honest where it it, it belongs there and it is so well deserved so if you would like to contribute to that, um, I'll link it down below. They sell kind of like t-shirts and bags so you can help fund the statue and also get some cool like merch if you'd like to wear that around. So I recommend supporting that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would tell you a bit why she's so important. Like she was such a key paleontologist of the time and I feel like she's starting to get well known now but it's so small the recognition. Like she deserves so much more. I just like it's her discoveries in the natural history museum it's her like so many papers were written on her um scientific like writings but she like they would forget to give her credit so these geologists these men would publish these papers and she wouldn't be mentioned anywhere within even though it's you know all her work and i've just oh i mean it it's it's crazy, it's really crazy. And I can't help but think that if she grew up in a time when she did have access to education and resources and was actually treated as an equal, like what she would have accomplished, I think would have been out of this world. But I mean, she's just an astonishing woman. If she could do that in a time like that, it's amazing. I think she's amazing. I might be biased, but she is definitely just 
a massive role model in my life and my career you know like I'm doing this for her as well as myself um I I love her and I love what she accomplished and I find her just really kind of inspiring but yeah so that's just a little bit about Mary Annie if you guys like this video where I'm just like telling you about her life um I will do more like this and I can go into more depth if you would enjoy that I would love to be able to give you some, like give Mary Annie some more awareness about who she was and why she's so key um, to just the science world not even the paleontology world like she was just a pioneering female in the world of science and I think she's great so check out the link at the top of my description like Mary Annie Rocks didn't ask for this video at all I just think they're a great organization and I'd love to see that statue go up in Lyme Regis I think that would just you know, it's very, very overdue, but I think that would just be am amazing to see. So let's help support that. But I hope you're doing well. Let me know any um, video ideas you've got for future Fossil Fridays. But um, I'll get back with you. Uh, la, 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 la. I will be back with more soon. And thanks for watching.